Yeah. Great battles with with uh, your Lakers, Brian, in the playoffs. Becky Hammond, Greg Popovich. Just a tough day all around. Still waiting to bring you the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department news conference, which was scheduled for about a half hour ago in Calabasas, as you look at Sean Elliott. tremendous for both of these teams to execute this and of course just a handful of players for both these teams who were fortunate enough to be entering the league as Kobe finished up his last couple of seasons and as we said EJ a chance of talk one out after gone that's all that you have are the memories that you made, that you made while they were here. And for those Kobe fans that are out there that are feeling like I feel right now, just try and think of all the joy that he brought you, making the highlights that you remember um, for all the Laker fans that the championships that he brought um, that put smiles on your faces. Those are memories that you're going to have to rely on going forward. And um, as, as sad a moment as it may be right now, um, we were blessed to have such a talented player to bring us the amount of joy uh, and happiness, especially, like I said, for Laker fans and NBA fans as a whole. For everyone tonight coming into this game, how were you guys able to stay focused? Oh, man, um, you know, just wanting to win the game, wanting to finish, finish out the road trip great. Um, you know, just knowing, knowing him personally, I know he'd have wanted me to come out here and try to ball and, you know, still just be great. So, uh, you know, that's what I tried to do tonight. Can you describe the mood amongst your teammates? Uh, I mean, I mean, everybody's sad, you know what I mean? It's, you know, words can explain his impact uh, he had on this floor. Um, you know, the emotional impact he had on everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we're a team from L.A., so we know L.A.'s history with him. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just sad. It seemed like both teams tonight, both the Clippers and the Magic, came out a little out of sorts, probably because of the news today. What was the key in getting you guys to recover and to win this game and end the road trip on a positive? Uh, I mean, uh, you, you know, before the game, we both we ran out the clock 24 seconds, uh, you know, for Kobe. And then they got to have court violation eight seconds to do a tribute towards him. So, you know, just things like that would just, you know, keep the game out of whack. And I, I mean, like I said, just, you know, you end up getting your adrenaline running and you just got to play basketball. It's our job. But, uh, you know, it's sad. He's going to be missed. I think it was hard for all of us to do our jobs today, though. Thank you, Kawhi. Yep. we were
for airing that piece for you. They are on the floor now just behind us warming up. And Sherm, this is where we do shift our attention to the game slightly. How difficult. Tyson Chandler played with Kobe. Right, he played, did yep. get a couple of different sets for the Lakers. I'm uh, just going to make a brief statement on behalf of the Nets organization. And uh, uh, we'd like to express our sincerest condolences to the Bryant family. Um, and everybody affected by the tragedy. <clears throat> As an organization, we're devastated. Our players are devastated. Um, we have a player that was very close to Kobe, who's that's our thoughts and prayers are with him also. Um, just a tough time for the NBA, for all of us, but uh, um, that's really all I have to say. Nothing. Thank you. And you, you got to imagine, um, you know, how hard it is to, to do your job at that, yeah. at that point, right? Yeah. Um, because you're not thinking about work, you don't think about profession, uh, you don't think about points or anything like that. Uh, you think about life uh, and uh, what's really important, the very necessities for you uh, as a human being and how fragile and mm -hmm. how all that can be gone mm -hmm. in a split second. Um, so, you know, I, th I thought that uh, everyone did a tremendous job of uh, stepping up and um, and trying to put, you know, everything together. Um, but at the same time, it was, uh, you know, you, know, you think about, you know, his family and his yeah. friends and, and uh, the situation that they're going through. Uh, so you just want to go home and, and kind of uh, kiss your kids and, and, and your wife and, you know, the rest is... Is just irrelevant right now. Would you? It, we are all in shock. Um, we should, um, you know, cherish how lucky we are sometimes. And uh, we get so um, deep in, in in our jobs, in our in our profession, um, about you know contracts, points, minutes, all stars, whatever, that you kind of forget what's really important in life and uh, and how can all be gone in, a, in just you know an accident and. Uh, so, you know, to me, it's, it's all, I just want to get home and, uh, and kiss my kids. It looked like he was the happiest he's ever been um, after basketball. Him and Gigi's relationship was, I mean, everybody saw it. That's all he posted about. And um, this was tough. I, I, I don't know how we played today. Uh, I would start thinking about the game and then it would just snap back into my mind. I don't, uh, we have to play tomorrow. And I'm sure Utah will do a tribute, and it, this pain is not going to go away anytime soon. You don't even have to be a basketball fan to feel this. You know, one of the most competitive athletes, iconic athletes. And uh, I, honestly, to be completely honest, more so as a father, what he's meant to that family. I, I, I'm going to pray for Vanessa and the kids. 
and uh, may he rest in peace, man. This is um, this was tough. Today, that day, uh, I never had a personal relationship with Kobe. Uh, he, he's spoken to me a bunch of times, and he's always told me um, he respects me and he respects the work that I've done, and he's watched me from afar as a head coach and as an assistant. He said it to me in Philly. He said it to me in L.A. Um, and it's who Kobe is and what I know of Kobe. What I respect the most, you know, I grew up on the West Coast. I'm a Laker fan by, as a child. And I've had to denounce being a Laker fan once you get into the profession. Um, but I've always respected his greatness because of his detail and his passion and the intensity of what of which he plays. But there's nothing more than the respect I have for him as a father. Um, every image you see of him post-retirement is with his daughters and with his family. Everything you see online, on Twitter, um, is about positivity. He's encouraging others, um, retweeting positive comments to others. Today's just a really, today's a tough day. Today's a hard day. And I hope that um, everybody at home, you, you give that person next to you, um, whatever thing you have wrong in your life with them, if this might be small or big, let that shit go. Doesn't matter. I know I curse, I'm sorry. It's okay. None of that stuff matters, man. This is uh, it's about life and uh, being precious with every damn second we have here because it, from somebody who knows who almost happened to me, like that, man, it's just over, it's done randomly, randomly, arbitrarily. And uh, you know, his, his four girls and his wife, we, uh, we need to come around them and support them and help them. And the NBA should cancel all games today. Um, I don't really know what else to say. <sighs> today is, is one of the saddest days in my lifetime. It seems like a bad, it's like a bad dream that you just want to wake up from. It's a nightmare. I know we all feel the same way about such a great, that's a great leader, that's a great champion, that's a great person. If you got a chance to know Kobe, you got a chance to really know Kobe. Ain't nobody better, man. Emotions are all over the place. These are the moments when you ask why. And that's the way I think a lot of us feel here tonight. Just don't feel like broadcasting. I know a lot of the players, <clears throat> excuse me, don't feel like playing. It's just a sad, sad day. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Like I said, it was like a shot, man, to you. Tyson Chandler played with Kobe. Right? He played, did yep. he had a couple of different stints with the Lakers? He's been like that. I don't have a lot to say. Yeah. Uh, I have it. Listen. Uh, Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, 
You know, he, he just he meant he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent. You know, um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that that DNA that um, that very few athletes can ever have. You know, the the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans. You know, um, it's funny. I uh, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know. Um, yeah, this is this is a tough one. I don't. Uh... What can I say? Mamba out.